Hey guys, I'm playing some Black Ops combat training on, on Recruit, and guess why? Because as I promised, <laughs> I got a controller, and man, it's not as hard as I thought it would be, but still, the aiming is awful. <laughs> it's very hard for me to aim with this. I will need some time to get used with it, but it's not as hard as I thought. But the aiming is awful. It's very, very hard for me to <laughs> aim. But I hope I will get used to it very half fast. I've also played some Batman and Assassin's Creed. Oh, double, triple. I've played some uh, Assassin's Creed, but there is a lot easier because it's not a first-person shooter. But I also played some Batman, and those aren't that hard. But I also had to set it manual with a program because. Black Ops won't recognize it. Assassin's Creed did, but Call of Duty won't. Uh, and yeah, I'm not going to play with a controller for the rest of my life now. But I want to train with it a little because it's funny to play with the controller. And maybe I will get a console once. So I need to have a little skill with it. Until then, got. And <laughs> it's pretty funny to play with it. <coughs> also, I've set the buttons manually, as I thought I will have them nicely. I have sprint on the right trigger, on the left trigger, the second button, and knife on the second button from the right, the trigger. I know there are flashbang and grenade there normally, but that's how I got them. I have a something like a PlayStation 2 controller. It's exactly like one, but it's only for PC and it has one, two, three, four buttons, not triangle, circle, square and X. Oh, all right. Oh, shit. Oh, look at that. Headshot. And mostly <laughs> I don't even move with the right stick. I mostly move my body to get the target in my crosshair because it's hard for me to move it up down I don't know why and also some bottom combination is what I don't like also at Batman I don't like that I can't move the camera while I fight and that's pretty maybe it's because of some options because I got it manually set with a program you know I've set the buttons from the controller to work like buttons from the game that's how it's done but an Assassin's Creed is pretty easy because the camera moves automatically when you move not like on Batman ah knife him oh shit I always forget where my buttons are oh god oh god oh god oh god <laughs> so I want to do a series about me training with a controller this is the third day with a controller and you might say it's pretty good, come on, it's not that bad for the third day in my life playing with a controller, it's not that damn bad. And maybe in one mount, two mounts, I will get to play with the controller as good as I play with the mouse and keyboard. Maybe, I I don't know. But that would be great. Ah. So I want to do one episode of me playing with a controller per week, or maybe two per week, I don't know. And we'll see how good I get from one week to another. Next week, next week I will try to play with those guys on regular, not on recruit, <laughs> maybe I can win. I've also tried to play some Modern Warfare 3 online with the controller. And I got an epic score. You know what score? I got 4 kills with 20 deaths. <laughs> well, not 20, but there were at least 10. <laughs> yeah, it's hard on multiplayer. And another thing is that on consoles, there's the aim assistant. There's no aim assist here. Alright. The game almost ends. I hope you enjoyed this. And. It's not as sucky as I thought. I thought I will move, not even know how to walk. But it's not that bad. Only the aiming is bad. And look, I got a pretty nice score. 
some guys don't get this score with the mouse and keyboard at the beginning of their playing and it's not that damn bad ah. alright thanks for watching <laughs> leave me a comment if you want me to show you some Assassin's Creed playing with a controller or Batman and see you next time bye